Valorant is a highly popular first-person shooter released in 2020 by Riot Games, the company behind League of Legends. The game manages to feel both fresh and familiar by combining the fast-paced tactical gameplay of CSGO and the diverse character roster found in games such as Overwatch and Apex Legends. The main gameplay mode in Valorant pits two teams of five against one another, where the first team needs to plant a bomb at a specific location on the map, while the second team needs to defend the bomb location. After 12 rounds, the roles are reversed and the victor in the match is the first team to win 13 rounds. Every character in Valorant has four unique abilities, with the fourth one being much more powerful but also having a longer cooldown. The wide variety of characters and abilities lends Valorant a lot of gameplay diversity and makes for interesting plays, especially if the team members are able to coordinate and work in tandem. Valorant is free to play, but unfortunately for Mac users, it lacks a native version, so alternative methods need to be employed in order to play it on a Mac. We really wanted to help our viewers play Valorant on their Macs, so we tried different potential workarounds. We searched for cloud gaming services that support the game, but it seems that no such service has Valorant in its library at the moment. Then we tried running the game via Parallels and Crossover, two other popular Mac gaming methods, but there we hit another roadblock. Unfortunately, the anti-cheat system of Valorant doesn't allow the game to run in Parallels Virtual Machine or through Crossover's compatibility layer. This left us with only the bootcamp option, which involves installing Windows in a separate partition and running the game there. This is where we finally got a breakthrough, and we were able to play Valorant on a Mac. However, this method works only on Intel Macs because the bootcamp assistant doesn't work on an M1 based model. This means that there's currently only one viable workaround that can lead you to play Valorant on a Mac, and that is to use the bootcamp assistant app. Since this method is only available for Intel based Macs, at the moment it's not possible to play Valorant on an M1 model. A quick note before we continue, while searching for potential methods to play Valorant on an M1 Mac, we came across different videos and articles claiming that they have the solution. Upon close inspection, and after trying to replicate the suggested method on an M1 machine, we reached the conclusion that they do not work, and the people suggesting them use screenshots or video footage from Intel Macs. If you have an Intel Mac and want to play Valorant on it, we'll now show you how you can do that. While there will be some drawbacks, it's possible to install Windows on a Mac and run compatible software, including games. To get Windows on your Mac with the Bootcamp Assistant, first go to the Microsoft site and download a 64-bit Windows ISO file. Then navigate to the Utilities folder on your Mac, launch the Bootcamp Assistant, and click Continue. Load the ISO file, then allocate at least 70 GB in the Windows partition and start the installation. Next, simply follow the prompts to install Windows and personalize its settings, and you should be ready to go. The only thing left after that is to install any necessary drivers so that your Mac can run Windows without any issues. We have a detailed guide on the whole process linked in the description. With Windows on your Mac, all that's left to do is download the game as you would on a Windows PC. For a 2020 game, Valorant has very low system requirements, so even older Macs can run it. Case in point, we tested the game on a 2016 MacBook Pro and we got acceptable performance after applying several optimization tricks that we'll show you now. First, type graphics settings in the start menu and open the first result. Click browse, navigate to the games folder, select its icon and click add. Select options, enable the high performance settings and click save. Now go to the games folder again, right click it, Open Properties, select the Compatibility tab and set the Compatibility Mode to Windows 7. While there, also check the Disable Full Screen Optimizations, then click Change High DPI Settings, enable the Override option and click OK on everything. Lastly, don't forget to lower the in-game settings before you start playing. This will significantly lower the game's image quality, but should provide you with a noticeably improved performance. Of course, you can tinker around with these settings to see what works best for you. Once we applied all those optimizations, we got a relatively smooth performance considering we tested the game on a 6 year old Mac. The FPS rate rarely dropped below 50, which allowed us to have some fun with the game, and should be more than enough for casual players. On a newer Intel Mac, the gameplay should be even smoother, and you'll be able to get away with using higher settings. In other words, you can absolutely play Valorant on an Intel Mac using the bootcamp method. Just to know that this will likely get your machine quite hot, which can be unpleasant for some users. 
In conclusion, the only method of playing Valorant on a Mac that's available at the moment is to use the bootcamp method and this can only be done on an Intel Mac. If we learn of another way for playing Valorant on a Mac, we'll make sure to create a follow-up video where we explain the new method. In the meanwhile, if you know of a viable alternative to bootcamp, do not hesitate to share it in the comments so that more people can learn about it. If you liked this video and found it helpful, we'd appreciate it if you leave a like or a comment below. Also, if you want to see more interesting Apple-related content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. It helps us greatly and allows us to keep making more videos.